How the sound of Kundalini, I have told you in one of my lectures, how it creates sound. For example, at Vishuddhi it creates the sound of all the vowels that are in Sanskrit language. The English vowels are very few. Sanskrit language are a, a, e, e, u, u, ru, ru, lulu, a, i, o, au, am, a. These are the sounds that we should be <coughs> She creates sounds on all the chakras. But when she comes to Navi, it becomes a one. One means information, coded information. That's the nearest to them, coded information. First it is the paravani, which you don't hear. When it rises from the Kundalini point, means Muladhara chakra and Muladhara, then it is not heard, there's no sound. When it comes to the stomach, the paravani starts. Then it comes into the center, where in the heart always you hear it, Madhyama, where you can hear it, nap, tap, nap, tap, nap, tap, just like heart, properly. With the stethoscope you can hear it. Then it comes to Shuddhi, it becomes a witness, means Pashyanti, the one who sees. You might have noticed yourself when you are caught up in Vishuddhi, you feel the thing going on here, but here she sees. Then this sound, which is the <laughs> sound with, with which we speak, when it comes to the throat, it becomes vaikari, it says. This is even before the Kundalini is there, the Vāṇī, the coded information, the language, which is first only coded, becomes decoded here. So it's called Vaikhari, it talks. But after realization, the Kundalini enlightens the Vāṇī, as it enlightens everything else. Because of that enlightenment, your mantras become enlightened. And that's how. When you say a mantra, it is effective, it's lighted. Before this, any mantra said has no meaning. It's just ordinary one, just like in any ordinary thing. So it is called as the mantra which is jagrut, awakened. So a mantra which is jagrut cannot be created out of a mantra which is not enlightened. Like if you have, say, a earthen pot or an earthen thing like this or this one as it is, and you have all the oil and everything there, still it won't give light till it is enlightened. In the same way the mantra is nothing, it's just a dead pot. Unless and until it is enlightened by Kundalini, it is from ordinary vāṇī, which cannot give you enlightenment, and which cannot give enlightenment to the mantras. And that's why these mantras have no meaning at all. A person whose spirit is enlightened and his vāṇī is enlightened, such a person, whatever he says comes true. Whatever he asks for happens. Even before he says something, the desire, the desire within us, which is the paravani, which is the coded information of the desire you have, becomes enlightened. And that's how you get the result. Suddenly you get something, you say, oh, I have struck the jackpot and Mother has done it. That's how it works. The whole system works out this way.